Thank you, Jesus. Greet your neighbor for me. Say, welcome to the house of the Lord. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right. So, <clears throat> the small teaching that I'm going to be giving is very, very, very important. Um, you know, involve the most important personality in our Christian walk who is the Holy Spirit. And uh, <clears throat> the reason why Drugo share on this is so that your faith can be stirred towards reaching out for something in the Holy Spirit. So I'll, I'll read from the book of the Acts of the Apostles, which I believe should actually be called the Acts of the Holy Spirit. The Acts of the Holy Spirit. Because whatever the Apostles did in this book, it was as a result of the working of the Holy Spirit in their life. The working of the Holy Spirit in their life. So pastor, I really want so many verses, but I will just allow you to read maybe one. And then the rest I will be touching as we go. Verse number three. Chapter one, verse three. Acts. Chapter one, verse three. Acts chapter number one. Verse number three reads. Mm. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Okay, you can take your seat, Pastor. Thank you. So, situation at Inayoa Bandeya Jesu, Abba from Kufa, Achiba Amuka. Then Amuka no Zeratiza Kuwadzidzwake. And scripture tells us, Kuti, Ano Zeratiza for 40 days. And during those 40 days, he was speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And when he showed himself alive, he had to do things, you know, prove really Kuti, he is alive. And scripture says, he showed himself alive by many infallible proofs. Another version, he noted, by many undeniable proofs. And when we look at the word infallible, a situation or a personality or a person who can never make a mistake. So when he's saying he showed himself alive by many infallible proofs, he was saying he was showing himself alive by many unmistakable proofs. So you couldn't mistake a certain testimony and a miracle could maybe aitika somehow by another force. In this particular instance, that miracle actually took place because Jesus was showing himself alive. And you see, during this time, Yaru Ratiza kuti mupeni and also Vadzidziwake, but she's one of is alive by those proofs. Scripture not he taught them of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God for 40 days. My only challenge with that verse is the hunger I know stare inside of my spirit. Kuti Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, yes, Akanyor, Nekuzofakwake. But in this particular verse, we are being told of certain teachings the disciples received for 40 days. By not by Jesus Asata Afa, but by Jesus who died and then resurrected. Which means the church, the church, Yepa Acts of the Apostles, did not only flow or was not only sustained by the books of the Old Testament, it was also sustained by the teachings Zakawuya for 40 days when Jesus was showing himself alive. So whatever they then produced was as a result of all his teachings the past and the teachings of the resurrected Christ. But I will ask you for a minute, what kind of teaching was Jesus giving to these people for 40 days and 40 nights that Akashiratiza are alive? And I will show you something that Jesus was trying to do. Men that walked in power in the Bible, I can't go into the depth there, the importance of flowing in power, whether you're a pastor or a, 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 just a believer. Because power is necessary. Particularly, the end times. Because evil is multiplying. And the only way to address evil, and the only language that evil can understand, is the language of power. 
Mm. Every man that walked in greater dimensions of unusual power in the Bible. You look at the man Elijah. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You look at the man Jesus himself. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You look at Moses. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And these are the only two men that appeared on the day Yaka transfigured Jesus on that mountain. Why? Because my dimensions are not at the same rank. Okay? Yes. Yes. So when he was on the mountain, the two men that appeared were the only men that fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the Bible. Look at the power that flowed in Moses. Look at the power that flowed in uh, Elijah. Men that could command fire to come from heaven, not spiritual fire, not fire of the Holy Ghost, where we say fire, fire on a demon, and a human being is manifesting. No, physical fire that could consume human beings. A level of security where and you consume them by your fire. That was the kind of fire that was flowing in Elijah. 40 days and 40 nights. A man like Moses stretching his stick like this and the waters were parted. What kind of power was that one? Acquired from the place of prayer and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Then when Jesus came and he wanted to start his ministry, before he could preach, before he could teach, he started with 40 days and 40 nights. And when he returned from the 40 days and 40 nights, the Bible says he came back in the power of the Holy Spirit. Which means prayer and fasting were the platforms Zaka Shandisa to graduate his physical estate into a realm of power. Hello? So he started casting out demons because of that. There is a rank that he had achieved through prayer and fasting. A rank that he had achieved. A rank. So this same guy now, he is realizing my disciples, Angu I, I have imparted power on them. I have imparted grace on them. They can cast out devils. But one day when you read the book of Mark chapter number 9, there was a kind of a demon they could not cast out. And they were asking, why could we not cast this one out? Because demons are in ranks. They, were, they thought, since I can cast that one out, I can cast this one. No. No, 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 no. Unerime simbara unu gona kushandi saku zinga demon A, risinga gwene kushanda pa kuno zinga demon B. Because demon B doesn't respond to two days, two nights. Maybe demon B did not respond to five days, five nights. So then they asked, why couldn't we cast them out? Because there is a chapter. We were casting out demons and they were obeying us in your name. So you can see, hey, guys, this kind goeth not except by prayer and fasting. So in other words, though you have me as Jesus and as your master, I can breathe upon you power and you are casting out demons. But this kind, brethren, even after impartation, you need prayer and fasting to cast it out. Hello? Now, after that chapter, you would think there is another chapter you would hear that Jesus, as he was talking to them, right? They were on a fast. No, no. They went on to continue eating. One day, I got gumbuka. One day, disciples are joined. Why is it that this is what we have to do? It's just a sign. She can see that Jesus was not saying it. Can I buy it? One person is saying, I'm not saying it. Do you know we use that scripture? To, to, to run down prayer, to run down fasting. But I can assure you, Jesus didn't mean they should not fast. Yes. Pepe, why he said they, they should not fast, it was not a question of ministry. Because so long he's around, they have my presence, and I can do things for them that they themselves cannot do. But the moment I am taken, they must continue with my fasting and prayer culture. So, 40 days and 40 nights Elijah, 40 days and 40 nights Moses, 40 days and 40 nights Jesus. And Jesus, after going, after dying, he knew, these guys, if I leave them like this, they are not able to counter certain demons. So when Moses was fasting, who did he encounter in 40 days and 40 nights? It was God. When Elijah was <laughs> God. Now Jesus, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights, came back in the power, but he was 100% human. And represent God. Yes. When he then died, he is now the resurrected Christ who has overcome the body. Which yes. means he is now God. 100% walking on the earth. Yes, sir. What did he do? When he resurrected, he said, my disciples come. How many days are we supposed to spend together? 40 days. Ah, yeah. So the same 40 days of Moses, same 40 days of Elijah, 
you have your own 40 days. Yeah. With this same Jesus. Yeah. Now, as he is teaching them the words of the kingdom, the words of the kingdom for those 40 days, never forget these children of God as, you, as long as you live. He says, the words that I speak unto you, their spirit and their life, which means this intensive 40-day teaching was not just a teaching. It was a transference of spirit and life. Now, he said, even after my teaching, I release you to go, but don't depart until you are endued with the Holy Spirit. So where I used to pray for one hour and I come back and you are asleep, this time, no one is praying for you. It is now you who is supposed to be awake when others are now asleep. Remember, these guys, these guys, these guys could not pray for one hour. The hours some of you pray, you were better than Peter. And guess what, Pastor? For you to know the kind of teachings they received or, or, or during those 40 days, check the kind of teachings they lived after the 40 days. Yes, the first thing they did after receiving those teachings was going into the upper room to pray. You, and as they were there, there came a sound from heaven. They received yes, the Holy Spirit. And what was the first thing the Holy Spirit gave them? Utterance. So that they can also continue to pray. Now, paitika zoyese zwakaitika. Paitika zoyese zwakaitika. Guess what? Pastor, one day, my disciples, my apostles, anga wada uburi tukwa mpreyaru. Shukanzi, wei kuno kumuti gazirisi ronyadze, my apostles, shukanzi, atinka siye. Atinka siye prayer. Ne shoko toya kuma poto. Do you know what they actually said? It says, but we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word and to prayer. So in other words, this is no longer a seasonal thing. It's a lifestyle. Yes, Continually. Now look at the kind of power they started producing. The solutions they were now offering to the world. After giving themselves continually to the ministry of the word and to prayer. Now I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. And now when the Holy Spirit came, something happened. Something took place. If you read verse number 8, Pastor, uh, uh, yeah, 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 X chapter number 1. It is something special which I know tower. I would want to open your eyes to that one. Verse number 8. Uh -huh. But ye shall receive power. But you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. After the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto so, me. you are not witnesses yet. But when you receive power, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be witnesses. So this power is not just power to witness. No, it's power to be witnesses. Which means when that power comes, it can transform you into the person that you were not. Oh, yes. It's the power to become. Yes, sir. So the Holy Spirit, before he uses you to witness to others, he must change you into the witness. Amen. Oh, read it again. Read it again. Look at this. Verse number eight. You shall. But ye shall receive power. Uh -huh. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon and you. And what? And ye shall be. Did he say you are? Shall. You shall. Future. Which means as for today, we are still talking together. You are not yet. So what translates you into an effective witness is the coming of power by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now when the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them, they became witnesses. He said witnesses from where to where? Look at this. Witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is the center. That's where you are. And then what? And in all Judea. And then you go to all Judea. Uh -huh. And in Samaria. You then go to Samaria. Uh -huh. And unto the uttermost, and unto the part uttermost of the parts of the earth. So in other words, Pastor, no man who has the Holy Spirit stays in one place forever. It means the moment you go to one place forever, you must move from your Jerusalem to your Judea to your Samaria to the uttermost parts of the earth. Right there, let me prophesy over your life. From this service, you are moving into your next level. Aye. Movement. And when you look at the kind of movement that started taking place after they received the Holy Spirit. Huh. Mama, they spent more days in prayer, more days fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, more days sweating, more days laboring. And then they spent few days to make impact. Which means when you take long to make impact, it's a sign. You took little time to prepare. You took little time for fellowship. Any man that has spent enough time with the Holy Spirit, longer time with the Holy Spirit, spends less time to achieve impact. 
I'm telling you this. So you become a witness after the power comes, after the Holy Spirit comes, and then your sphere is increasing. Somebody's company here is increasing. It's increasing. We might not be in Jerusalem, we are in Harare. The next bus stop after Harare, Cape Town, your business is going there. After Cape Town, Bujumbura, your business is going there. After Bujumbura, United Kingdom, your business is going there. I might not be speaking to everyone. Some of you don't have those companies. Please, listen. <laughs> Pastor, so when I have the Holy Spirit and I'm in Jerusalem, I must begin to prepare for Judea. I must begin to prepare for Samaria. And soon after, for, to the uttermost part. Now look at this strange thing. Amongst the disciples, remove Peter, remove John, remove James. Be left with Thomas. Thomas is the kind of believer that does not believe without seeing. So he is trying to ask Jesus questions. If I don't uh, feel the holes in your hand, I will not believe you resurrected. So after feeling the holes, he, he now you are, he has resurrected. Now the same Jesus is showing himself alive by many infallible proofs. The next thing he's telling them, you shall go to the uttermost parts of the earth. The question, the next question that comes is, using what? How do I reach a person? If you read the Passion Translation, say it says, and you shall reach the remotest of areas in the world. Which means when God was talking to Peter on that day in Israel, he was telling him one day you will reach Zimbabwe. There is no aeroplane. There is no ship. No cruise ship. But he's telling them you will reach. Yet what he was saying was this. You shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you'll be witnesses in all these territories. He was trying, trying to tell them that the power carries your transport fare. What if I need clothes to be presentable that the power carries your clothing? Which means so long you can be clothed with the power, you can be clothed with anything. Now to prove, to prove that this power can do anything, it's only this generation that has options. That generation did not have options. They only had the power of the Holy Spirit. One day Philip, chapter number 8, he was in the desert, you know the voice of Varati, join yourself to this chariot. Varano si join under Candace, the, 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 the queen. Actually, this guy, certain water, he baptized him. The Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord took Philip, caught him away, and he was found in Azotas. Why is it that today, today, when you are praying for transport fare, you want to go to Gweru? You have to take the same hours a car is just taking. Philip was caught and placed in Gweru. I pray that one day, one of these days, you will just find yourself in that place. How did I arrive by the Spirit? Ah. You see, if the Holy Spirit can carry a whole body to another place, Ladies and gentlemen, he is the same Holy Spirit that we have today. I remember years, uh, years ago, I think two, three years ago, I had a mind-blowing testimony by a man of God in Nigeria, there was Dr. Paul in Asia. Said, my kidnappers are one of his daughters. Sungwa. And one name Sangu. Are you Sangu Momo? My body is an iPhone of Piwa, who is my ritualist. The first person, pa. Afurwa died. Second, pa, I think the girl Ifan Afurwa page is seven, and she started crying, and she started singing one of her father's songs. And as she was singing those songs, Akatsinzina, she lifted her head like this. She was on the main bridge in, in town. She's wondering how did I reach here? Where robbers are trying to rob you, and you disappear from the scene. You see, your challenge is this. You want Christianity, which has so much explanation and lead to manifestation. That's why you are fighting people on social media. Some of them, you don't need to fight them. When they are typing against you, yes, all you have to do is to be like that man of God uh, of, from Judah. Yes, you just point at the phone that is typing. Yes, and the fingers that are typing should freeze. Yes, 
Ah, ah. Say, if Jesus showed himself alive by many infallible proofs, why is your Jesus sleeping in your heart? You will never convince a generation that you have Jesus simply by talking. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. Ah, I said, you need the Holy Spirit. A gun was being shot at people. Pa, 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 pa. People are dying. They get to this other guy. Pa. The gun is not shooting. Three times, four times, seven times. Until they say, ah, this one, let him go. I end up testimony in church with the high one who said, I got trying to fool up, footy around about coca. As an early day, I know what you put away. How do you do you know where we are going to put the research on this one? Yes. Because what kind of power did you use? I want to know that power. Because since that day, I have a baby. Futi is on an answer to the shant. Supernatural. The Holy Spirit. You see, he is not limited. He can do anything. All we have to do is to enlarge our capacity and believe him. You know, they are around the very part of the apostles. Very much upper room. Thank God, we have a statistics department. They numbered to 120. That was the first church. 120. And guess what the 120 were doing? Praying. Guess what the 120 were doing? They were in the upper room, fasting. As they were there praying, as they were there fasting, the Bible says there was a noise. And when the noise was sent, people gathered around the upper room. First seven year Peter say, first seven year Peter, he is giving an explanation in my tongues. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And the Bible says, chapter yo yo, scriptures. But in the midst of quoting scriptures, the Bible says, and the men, their hearts were pricked. And they say, What shall we do? So can be born again. Three thousand people were saved that one day. No flyer, no poster. 3,000 came to the Lord in one day. The next chapters you read, 5,000 came. Ah! What did you eat that grew 5,000 people? <laughs> the next one, great multitude. The, the, the next one, when Paul was now there, almost the, chapter number 14 of Acts, almost the whole city came to, 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 to church. The next chapters, chapter 17, these are the guys who have turned the world upside down. What is that ever increasing glory? Amen. Ever increasing glory by the Holy Spirit. You can't start a company by the Spirit and it remains small. No! Yeah. Cannot happen. Cannot happen. We are not involving the Holy Spirit enough, Pastor, in all that we do. In our churches, in our businesses, in our marriages. Remember looking at this clip one day of a, a lady, Anka Garapa interview. I saw when you heard the Reality of Holy Spirit in marriage. For the first time, the husband, she was preparing every weapon of mass destruction against that husband. To Dendom shout. To Dendom be. It took long to come home. And then, as, you, as she was stepping into her, her bedroom, the Holy Spirit said to her, Can I talk to you for a minute? And yes. So, and when that man walks through that door, don't say anything. Welcome him the best way you can. Yes, Holy Spirit. The husband came late. As he was entering, she received him well, sat him down, spoke to him, and the husband started uh, crying. Can I talk to you? Yes. This was what I was going through at work. Now, now a marriage has been saved. A whisper of the Holy Spirit. Imagine Yet that's the same person that for comfort. Do you know there were times you overreacted because you did not allow the Holy Spirit to talk to you? Lost relationships. wrong, but The Holy Spirit. He has so many things that he can do. This Holy Spirit said. 
So many things. If you can carry a body to another location, this Holy Spirit. We are going to pray tonight. We are going to pray. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit said to him, he was left with scriptures, Mama. Peter had scriptures. He was a man who was learned in scriptures. I was just going to say, Taura, Vaka, Kota Tawariku, Vaka Taura. Could you don't associate yourself with my Edin? Usaj get Kaf Chakat. Usaj get Kaf Chakat. Say, Guru Venz, I give. Don't get it give. Chakata, I give. And it was written in their book. And now when the Holy Spirit came to him, Guess what he did? Ari pakati peko wata vision. Ako wana vision ya ipuru kama muka za kasi ya nasi ya na. Zika nzine voice. Peter, rise up, kill, and eat. Zika nzine mwe amche ni, andiji kesu nusu wakadai. Second time, andiji kesu nusu wakadai. Third time, andiji kesu nusu wakadai. Nyamba mwe amche na au tanga kumusa na nguriri. Pane wa nuwarume three, wa hedeni, waka kumira pasa. Saka muka za wonga ushuona apa. Lanu waka kumiri rapa. Vandaka mbukura mbe zaipu ujika time ye. Nyamba Moses fainzi musajike nguruwe na mwari. Yange siri nguruwe. Ainzi, don't associate yourself now. Kuna watu payaka wa imu vision. Yaka shika hiri nguruwe. Yaka shika hiri dongi. Yeti mwararu kutipa nduru kutumira dongi. Ndichiti usajike. Nduru kutu usa associate. Nevanu hala. Saka paku nzishimuka ujike. Paku nzishimuka uirane na avo. Mr. Alayi, shamu haraka potu kwa nenguruwe. Unose, paifo nukujika nenguruwe. Aka potu kwa nenguruwe, interpretation ya prophet wake iri wrong. Ok, timu wana waripana hapa. Vanga na unujika bekoni bana. Bekoni. Hai kazuruwe ni mwombe ka. Paruzote mbebo, rako ya ripane vesi ya kati musaji kenguruwe. Ya asuma ka nakiru wa, mbebe kwa nona. Are you realizing the power that Moses had when he said that? Hakuna akazombojika nguruve mutime iyo yofuti. Hakuna. Simply because a misinterpreter what was coming from God. Until today we have churches. And as soon as I want to say, 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 in form of an animal. No, that one day, there is, a, there is a chapter in this book where Paul Pano to Kuvanu be aware of dogs. As it's not Zogumba. Live a van, we are a In other words, Isaac Mogutsanong wrote, even when God was speaking to me concerning this kind of people, I can't let the Ziri in Boa. Yes, sir. But Murut Shansaka for security. Yes, sir. Sakatoch is a Russian at Embran, which becomes be of dogs. Hello? Very dangerous. And then those are kai pa ukawe a member asina mu yamche na nota uranai. Particularly in this generation, in social media, YouTube, the internet, you can take any garbage from any pastor. Whatever he says, so long it goes well with your own flesh, you say that's it. The spirit of God is speaking. To a point, I've reached. Do you know there are people that I've heard that paridza on social media, on YouTube, on all these platforms. That, that, that are being heard by so many people only to realize recently that these people, they don't have a message. What do they have? They have social commentary. If you want to trend, touch on marriage. If you want to trend, touch on things with, like money. If you want to trend. But let me ask you a question. What did God say to, to you that you must preach? So he doesn't have a scripture. All he has his social commentary is about to tell you what you must do uh, uh, concerning Mariri Mwumuma. Eh, I can, do you know I can get that information, Pastor, from a seminar business? Pastor, you have your message. Simply because you realized it was not applying to many people. And you had hunger for many people. You said something that would draw many people. The only personality that can draw people to you is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Am I saying people should not preach about marriage? I do. After this session, I have a marriage seminar that I'm going right now. After this one. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. Should people not preach about uh, how to manage your, your businesses? Yeah, definitely, they should, but that's not our main message. <laughs> hmm? You are looking for words. You are an entertainer. The Holy Spirit. Somebody say, the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit. It's very important. It's very important. Say, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is all I need. All I need. Mm. This same Holy Spirit can guide you, direct you, teach you, move you, lead you. This same Holy Spirit. This same Holy Spirit. So he showed himself alive for 40 days by many infallible proofs. How do we know the Jesus you have is alive? You must carry proofs. Proofs. Any Christianity that is only by professing and there are no proofs, it's, it's not Christianity. You see, the difference between a pastor and a lecturer is power. The difference between an atheist and a Christian, power. 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 Hey, I said what? Power. 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 And power can only be gotten from the Holy Spirit. From the Holy Spirit. The forces on earth that are resisting people, fighting against people's lives. For you to defeat them, it doesn't take mental uh, uh, capabilities or your, your intellectual capabilities. No. Like you being a thinker. Hmm? I told them this. There is a guy in Nigeria who, is a, who was a banker. One of the biggest bankers in Nigeria there. Sharp, very intelligent, but not spiritually intelligent. Went on a holiday with his family. He built his house, he was building his house all along. If you look at the house, Pastor, eating a street, very big, very nice, ultra modern. He had only lived in that house two months. He started living it last year, December, around Christmas. Went to America last two weeks ago with his family was on a helicopter ride. Him, the wife, and all their children. The helicopter fell down. All of them perished on the spot. Had you have the Holy Spirit, just five minutes of rabba, 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 you would have sensed something in your spirit. It doesn't take your degree to feel. It takes the presence of the Holy Spirit. Do you know when people died in, in America, 9-11, uh, when airplanes hit those two buildings? There was a lady who was investigated by the CIA and FBI, I think about seven or so ladies. That morning, one of them, as he was moving out of, his house, of her house, she heard the voice say, go back. She went back. The Holy Spirit said, sit down. Said, I'll be fired. As she was about to move out, she felt a terrible pain in her stomach. Went back to sleep. Called the manager, said, I'm not coming in today, I'm sick. The same floor, uh, and then the moment the, the plane entered and hit the floor and people died in that floor, that's when she got healed. So she was trying to disobey the Holy Spirit when he said something. Now the Holy Spirit had to use a condition to stop her from going. Yes. It doesn't take intelligence. Yes. It takes supernatural wisdom yes. that comes from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was last week you were the one who actually had testimony here. You were one of our brothers. Yes. He was a bus stop like this. Kombi, Yasaravan 2. It's him and his friend. I would not be named Kombi, Yasaravan 2, Kwanga Fanoga. He just felt, eh, I will not get in. Friend, I would not know about Sanzai and Gatita Gregwent. Vamir, Vapura. Yes, it too. He felt okay. Vapinda yo. Vashitera, you mashure, Vakapura, Pacona, Vanus Bashwana. I just said to location, he Pacaroa, exactly Pavano Garari 2. No paka duma ne 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 track fa pa fa ntu vanga ga garaba kona yo. Does that take mates? Does that take uh, accounts? It takes the spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. Some of the troubles that you're going through right now, marital troubles, the Holy Spirit wanted to deliver you just by telling you who not who who to marry and who not to marry. But then your challenge is you you are always telling him who you want. Change him, Lord. Change him, Lord. This one will not change. You will not narrow. You will not. Oh. <laughs> if, particularly if people are in love. 
Love is dangerous. Yeah. Ah. No, I'll tell you a story. Uh, uh, as I was uh, finishing high school, my relationship with the Holy Spirit was just touching. And then there's this girl I looked at, I said, ah, this one. <laughs> Jesus. Nemutsa, <laughs> I want her. <laughs> I never had anything, but I still went to her and I said, eh, hey, my name so we went into courtship first month second month do you know most people they, 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 they don't have an ability Muma spirits are able to differentiate last in love in yes. infatuation yes so I was looking at her like this I said what can be wrong with this one this is the totality of beauty. Yeah. We are sent to get that to heaven with this one. Yeah. The fourth month, the Holy Spirit just came and said, eh, now I'm here with your answer. <laughs> Ramba. Yeah! And I had made a decision when I got born again. I said, I don't want to play with people. Courtship straight to go run. I said, ah, ee. We kept on dance. God had made it easy for me, but still. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go <laughs> do you know some of the things that the Holy Spirit will tell you they will not make sense but he has his best interest at heart so this is what, what then happened so he then showed me one day and we remember particularly my youths so it was after a long session of prayer. I, I just went to sleep. Immediately I hit my head on the floor. I, I, I saw myself. I had I was with that girl. That's what gave me peace. I knew my life with this one. Life is impossible. Yes. Impossible. Impossible. So when that happened, I told God, I said, from now on, I'm focusing on prayer, I'm focusing on saving you. So Yes. And then um, I met my wife. So when I looked at her, <laughs> I'm telling you, I loved her. But then Dani, she said, I said, I said, I said, I said, so one day, Tantri group of my youth reached even when she I will never forget that day. So I remember how many people were there. That was the day when I came to church. We were going to the day of the Spirit. So when I entered the Spirit, I didn't even think that I would go. Ah, Spirit, I'm going to pick up my mama and look at her. So, so when I got to go to work, I was going to lead the prayer. I was going to go to the bar. No, I was going to go to the bar. Saka, while you do pray, while you do pray, in the room you want to But I want Saka, come out, the traitor say, I can't do sweat, the Raji, could do the new. Look at I just feel in my spirit. Could you battle the moon, I could do the new, no matter the year. I've been one with a battle with Dar. So we started praying, we started praying, and then immediately, some minutes into the prayer, I saw something, I said, I'm coming. Saka the Sunday, the proposal and answers that Jesus says as it was happening. I now had this peace that since God has spoken to me, 
no matter what we go through, this one will not give me the trouble that that one would have given. Exactly. Do you know, it doesn't mean when God says, yes, it is going to be easy flow. No. At times, it actually means no matter what happens, you will be okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. 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 And I can assure you, I know by no shit, you're not going to go can you say there is a marriage is not a problem? They are going to problem. I want to go to the demo. In Zwa, Shafan, I'm not even a room member. In Andu, who could walk on the Imbo? Ah, I have a room member. It's a room member. I'm a room member. Ah, so you don't face challenges? No, challenges will come. But when it is your relationship and your union was bound by the Spirit. Whatever comes will be defeated by that same spirit. Amen. Telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you. Some of our garana we are not sure any mushu. We are nine. There are things which you know in the world no more. We are worried. We are not I heard the some some somebody that attended the funeral. I think I was with uh, our pastor Z. Taka garage was in nine, but don't go up from there. The moment we see that we are going to go to the are you telling me good anonze murume can really spend time them cats one is that natural because the nature here that it gone because you do you when ani ukona ka zhinji munhu akuti god is merciful god is ziva kuti nyama yapindira zvakare eh eh pano wazo chemerwa mesi pane miskanzwa when you walk with the Holy Spirit, say, there are things that He will show you and the life He will impart into you. So good. Even if you have natural, it's unnatural to you. It's unnatural. Okay, what's wrong with spending life? What's wrong with that? Ah, <laughs> so for all these things to be a reality in your life you need the Holy Spirit I know this, she can never out to, to, to keep me so I find my lessons there, there is a degree in a limit in Oshika flesh 48 hours are somewhere on a uh, maybe errand happy one in a bus usiko ikoko unomuchengeta se kana munhu asingango chike mwari no matter zva unomuitira that person will still cheat on you sambo nyepero yo unza eh ubika tina 6 unoibika ya 6 kokota mwana kona ibika yakanaka foot na 5 to 6 eh sako no sara ne watch ne ne tea munhu akaenda kudhara eh vakadzi vanoda kuitwa icho vakadza there is a limit, Pastor. You you will be limited so long you are doing it physically only. Mm. I'm not saying physical, watch your sight. But Ruguti, so long it's only physical. Musina the spiritual backup your Holy Spirit. Which come on, Harry Mamur. I am no nyepe. No nyepa. Nyepa. Takazo na wangu wakato zozo not isu na zushandes. E uyu muni kwa. Dika dawa tewe kuti siura ne kudi. Ah, zite. E lock. Nongo zonzo wa mu eshi metro kunzi. Ah, akashikiro agara ne muka zemun. Avachapa. But can I, can I tell you the honest truth? Yes. That is unnecessary. Yes. It's unnecessary. But look at it. It's just a clear sign. Yeah. 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 How powerful it is and wonderful it is. Kuti mu grow mese mu understandi. Uka wani kwa ne muna no na mata no shika muari wa gaji ta say business raga chita chichi and so on. Mu gara mese mu shinzu gira na the same thing. Mu kura ne gaji da yezwada. Kwe to ariku yuto kwa chana gaji ini ni wangu ndom tende uta ariku kuniyiko. Ano vaso graduate au? Au mu mukura kuda so ma yuto da yezwada yezwada shanduku pina na yezwada. But you are also a youth. So. There is one teaching in Ovaraz Have a working relationship with the Holy Spirit. 
have a working relationship with the Holy Spirit. And every pastor will tell you, Pastor, the secret to this is this. The secret to this is this. Do you know there is a secret it is specifically designed only for you? No matter it will not work for them. Anyone that does not direct you to the Holy Spirit, half-half. Half-half. So tonight we are going to pray for some corners in our lives. At certain certain things. Yes, in our ministries, our marriages, our businesses, he can. Even if you have maybe I'm trying to see but I see there is power. He knows when I'm saying it to overcome some of these things. Amen. To overcome, I know of people, listen, listen, who have gone on to become men of God that came into my life, very addicted, and some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. If I'm to mention the things here, you'll be like, ah, something hey, hey. No prayer, say, just being in my presence. That, that presence, the Holy Spirit, you begins to consume the desire for certain things. Remember somebody from, from here texted me last week. I think I showed you the testimony. You just, you just tapped on my chest like this. And then I, I realized I was no longer addicted to and I was addicted to every day. What kind of testimony is that? What's that? Is, is, is the power in the Holy Spirit. I told you years ago, I read a book. As I was reading the book, it had to do with miracles and so on. There is one statement that the man of God who wrote that book said, uh, Bishop David Redeb, he said, sin is a choice. Righteousness is a lifestyle. When the power of God gets into you, you don't make decisions. You just no longer have taste for it. Amen. When that happened to me, I don't remember when last I went into prayer to say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what? And this was the one. Do you know how before I was able to say that I was not going to say that I was not going to you look at verses like the one I showed you in Hebrews where he says, Beloved, holy brethren, remember your convocation, you're calling holy brethren. When God calls you holy, accept that reality and walk in that consciousness. Say, I'm holy. Ah, why are you afraid? Say, I'm holy. I'm holy. Exactly. God has made you to be holy. It doesn't mean good. Amen. 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 It just means you have no more job. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet. <laughs>